All right, so this is going to be a brief tutorial on doing CSS. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets, and it's a way that you give layout and color and fonts and um, sort of the look and the feel of the website. Um, it's called Cascading Style Sheets because often it is a file um, that is part of your web page that's called that CSS. And when you make a change there, it cascades through however many web pages you have. Um, because this is a very introductory tutorial, um, I'm, I have embedded the style. So that's another way to do it. Um, so this is a project, the HTML project that I worked on, which is very weird now, because um, it's a combination of a bunch of things. But watch what happens when I get rid of this line. Actually, I'm going to hide that away quickly and get rid of this line and this is a comment line so i commented that code out and now look at that it's not pretty but it's definitely different so i now have a uh, black background my font changed here my font changed here um, it actually put the image next to the paragraph i put a image behind the paragraph my um, links have changed color, um, all sorts of things. So how did that all come about? So again, whether this is something that's uh, in a CSS file or embedded like here, we're in the heading part. So this is that setup part and we have a style. So the style um, tag lets the web page know there's some styling stuff coming up. We have um, fonts that we're using. So the body font, um, the way fonts work in, in a browser is you can have what's called a font family. So you can say, okay, first see if there's Georgia font. Okay, if there's not Georgia font, then time try Time Zoom Roman. If there's not that, try this and keep going. Um, because there are fonts are specific to what's downloaded on a computer. So some computers um, come with more fonts already. A lot of people like to download different fonts. Um, and so that's why it's important to have some options there. So depending on what the computer has. Um, the body color text is white. I've got a zero margin, zero padding. And then the background color is um, black. So this, these are each two digits represents R and then G and then B. So because they're all off, it's black. So if I turn them all on, which weirdly enough, it would be F, 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 F. That's all the way on. Um, but I can just adjust it a little. Well, that's not enough. There we go. So um, you can play around with that, uh, different colors. OK, so now this is going to take the precedent. This is going to sort of be the default. And then if you want something different, you have to identify it. So this for our head one tags, we're actually going to be using a font from a uh, Google font family from Google. It's called uh, Sofita one. And so that's the first one I wanted to try and it should link up to it here. And then the other fonts, um, the size is going to be, you know, big. And I want this font to be centered wherever it is on the page. So you can see it gets centered. Um, for my head three font, same thing. Um, oh, I think I changed the color to purple. There it is. And um, not sure why I did padding there, but we'll have to experiment with that. And then, so I made the default color white, which is why this is showing up white. But then I said for paragraphs, I'd like the text to be black. Um, and that's using a different font, which it's getting here. So I can show you how to get those fonts. And then you can change the um, color of the links and the hover. Um, sometimes you can use like names of colors, uh, but oftentimes you'll have to use these what are called hex values um, to do colors. And if you do any color picker, you should be able to um, figure out what those values would be. Like there's a hex value for that. So you could just copy and paste that in. Okay. So that's what's going on with, you know, the fonts and the colors. Then this next part is how you lay out um, the page. And I'm actually not very good at layout uh, with web pages um, with this. 
So I kind of just experiment around with it. But what we have is uh, a div tag. They're called div tags that says there's a wrapper and the wrapper encompasses everything and it's 100 across, uh, 800 pixels across, okay? And then inside wrapper, there's a picture and that's this. And the picture is gonna be 400 across and then we want it to float left, which means we want it to be on this side of the screen. So that our text, which is this, um, has a specific uh, width and height and it will float right, so it's on the right. And then here is how I got the um, that background to show up. So you could put other things, uh, backgrounds in here, or you could take that away if you don't want it. And then finally, there's a style ending. So that's what's happening with the style. So if I wanted, like one thing I don't like um, is how this is showing up. So I could experiment with adjusting things on here. So. Right now, the height of this is 250. So if I push this down, will it push my links down? Oops, <laughs> not if I do it that way. Aha, so now it takes up and it did push those links down, which is okay, but then I don't like the background here. So I might take that out. But again, you can experiment with um, these numbers. Uh, you could, you know, maybe what happens if we take this down? Oh, so now it, because my picture is actually wider than that, remember if we go down to the picture itself, the image, it's 400. So it's just taking out that space. So if I made that 200, oops, I keep doing that. Oh, interesting. So again, I'm floating this left, floating it right, and then there's a space in between. Oops, put that back. And, you know, you're not really going to mess anything up, obviously, by experimenting with these things. Um, what else did I want to show you? Oh, how to get uh, a new font in. So if you want to try another font, you can go to Google Fonts. And uh, find one you like. Let's say I like this one. And what you're going to do is, I have to remember how to do this. Select the style, embed. All right, and you are gonna want this. Um, so you want actually both. You're gonna need this link. So that you're gonna put um, up here. Okay, and then um, it was called yellow towel. And so I can get this. We already know that there's font family, so I can just copy that. And I can change, let me change the title to that. Oop, I got an extra quotation in there. All right, there we go. So that's what you can do. So I would just suggest playing around with it and um, seeing what else you can change. All right, good luck.